base students so this presentation is a continuation of the earlier presentation that we have seen on glycolytic pathway so this presentation will give a clear outline regarding the total energy yield from glycolysis or glycolytic pathway so we have already studied that during anaerobic oxidation or during anaerobic conditions the end product produced will be lactate and during aerobic conditions the end product produced will be pyruvate so during anaerobic condition what happens is that here one molecule of glucose this glucose will be converted to lactate from pyruvate so glucose get converted to pyruvate and pyruvate thereby it gets converted to another product called as lactate in anaerobic conditions so here if you are looking into the energy yield two molecules of atp is produced two molecules of atp is produced in the overall pathway when one molecule of glucose is converted to lactate here four molecules of atp are synthesized look at this reaction the reaction number 7 and the reaction number 10 here the reaction number 7 1 3-bisphosphoglycerate is converted to 3-phosphoglycerate so this conversion it is catalyzed by the enzyme 1 3-bisphosphoglycerate kinase similarly phosphoenol pyruvate is converted to pyruvate the presence of the enzyme pyruvate kinase so as an overall four molecules of atp is synthesized by means of two substrate level phosphorylation but if you are looking into the energy utilization here you can see the step 1 and also in the step 3 when glucose gets converted to glucose 6 phosphate one molecule of atp is utilized in the presence of the enzyme exokinase similarly when fructose 6 phosphate is converted to fructose 1 6 phosphate here also one atp molecule is utilized in the presence of the enzyme phosphofructokinase so here two molecules of atp utilization and here four molecules of atp production so as a whole total there will be the production of four molecules and there will be the utilization of two molecules so the total yield we can say that it is two atp molecules that is four molecules of atp is produced minus two molecules of atp is utilized so the total energy yield by anaerobic oxidation of this glucose is two molecules of atp now the second condition that is when the oxygen is available in plenty what happens the glucose will be converted to pyruvate so during this uh, conversion of this glucose to pyruvate what happens here one of the major step of this conversion of this glucose to pyruvate is that it produces NADH molecules two NADH molecules are produced 
by the action of the enzyme glycerol D8 3 phosphate dehydrogenase on the substrate glycerol D8 3 phosphate. Thereby, the glycerol D8 3 phosphate gets converted to 1 3 bisphosphate glycerate. So, this produced NADH molecules, that is, this produced two NADH molecules. They can enter the mitochondrial electron transport chain for complete oxidation. So each NADH molecule, it can provide three ATPs. So when two NADH molecule is completely oxidized, that can generate six ATP molecules. So this step can generate six ATP molecules as, as it is producing two NADH molecules. So thus when oxygen is available in surplus, the net gain of energy from glycolysis pathway is 8 ATPs. That means 6 ATP from this step, then 2 ATPs from this step, another 2 ATPs from this step. So total. 6 plus 2 plus 2 that is 10 minus 2 molecules of ATP is utilized in this reaction number 1 and 3. So 10 minus 2 it is 8. So in aerobic oxidation or in aerobic conditions the total ATP is produced are 8 in number and in anaerobic condition the total ATP produced it is 2 in number. Now what happens to the spiroid that is generated by means of uh, aerobic oxidation? The spiroid it can later be oxidatively decarboxylated to acetyl-CoA and this acetyl-CoA it can enter into the TCA cycle. So, if you are looking into the complete oxidation of glucose through glycolysis combined with this citric acid cycle, it will be producing a total number of 38 ATP molecules. With that, we conclude our session on the energy yield of glycolytic pathway. And in the next class, we will be seeing gluconeogenesis. Thank you, Lord.